Hi there, I'm Atik from 4D Systems. I'm here to help you with the ins and outs of Arduino and get you started. Arduino is an Arduino compatible TFT LCD display module with resistive touch and Wi Fi capabilities. Arduino is the best board to get started with electronic designs, projects, education, and is perfect for beginners and experts. At the heart of the Arduino is an 80 Mega 32U4 8 bit microcontroller from Atmel with 32 kilobytes of flash memory, 2.5 kilobytes of internal SRAM. 1 kilobyte of internal EEPROM and throughput up to 16 MIPS or million instructions per second. The same microcontroller is found on the popular Arduino Leonardo. It also comes with a 2.4 inch intelligent LCD TFT display module powered by the 4D Systems Picasso GPU with 4 wire resistive touch, 14 kilobytes of flash memory and 14 kilobytes of internal SRAM which offers an array of display functionality including display full color images, animations, icons, video clips and supports all window fonts available. In addition, Wi-Fi capabilities are provided by the popular ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with 802.11 BGN support, Wi-Fi Direct P2P and Soft AP, TCP IP protocol stack and 1 MB of flash memory. Arduino headers are in the layout of an Arduino which includes power pins and 20 digital I.O. pins of which 7 can be used as PWM outputs and 12 with analog capabilities. Forduino also features an onboard micro SD connector, onboard USB for powering Forduino and programming the 80 Mega 32U4 microcontroller, 2x5-way header for programming Picasso and ESP8266 via a 4D systems programming cable or adapter, and a 5V DC barrel jack for supply. Arduino is 100% Arduino IDE compatible, meaning it can be directly programmed by the Arduino IDE like any other Arduino modules. However, 4D Systems Workshop for IDE has new functionality added to allow the onboard Atmel processor to be programmed using the very same Arduino programming language, but with the added dimensions of graphics. This is enabled with the aid of 4D Systems Picasso GPU. Creating an Arduino based graphical user interface does not get any easier. Arduino Design has incorporated a TFT LCD touchscreen display and Wi-Fi solution with the intention of providing a flexible and hugely capable hardware platform. This will enable the designers and the makers to significantly improve the quality and the scope of their project and do so rapidly with the aid of 4D System Workshop for IDE. Let's have a look at how the main components are interfaced with each other. The 80 Mega 32U4 microcontroller is the brains of the 4D Arduino. 80 Mega 32U4 communicates and controls the ESP8266 via software serial. For this purpose, pins D8 and D9 are used. However, this means if Wi-Fi module is used in your project, then the pins D8 and D9 cannot be utilized in your design. On the other hand, 80 Mega 32U4 controls Picasso via hardware serial. For this purpose, pins D0 and D1 are used. So D0 and D1 cannot be used if the project requires communication between Atmel and Picasso. Picasso then controls the 2.4 inch TFT LCD resistive touch display and micro SD card connector. Onboard USB allows you to program the Atmel processor using either Arduino IDE or Workshop 4 IDE. If you require to program or upgrade the firmware on Picasso or ESP8266 you can do so with the 2x5 header for which you need a 4D system programming cable or adapter. Out of the box, the Arduino does not have the Arduino headers or ICSP header soldered. These however come in a bag and can be installed by the user if required. Installation of these headers onto the Arduino board requires a soldering iron, solder and a solder wick. Insert all five headers in the right direction. The pins of the header should enter the bottom of the board and extend out the top like this. Making sure the headers are inserted in the right orientation is essential. Then flip the board over allowing the display side to face up. It is important the headers are perpendicular to the board. This will ensure any shield will slide straight onto your Arduino without bending any pins. 
Initially, solder only one pin on each header. If they are not perpendicular, it will be easier to reheat that single pin while adjusting the alignment. After soldering one pin in each header, verify the alignment. Then solder the remaining pins of the headers. Ensure there are no bad solder joints creating a short. If so, heat some solder wick to the joint pushing the solder to the direction desired. Also check for cold joints where there is not enough solder to connect the two points together. Before we get started, we need to add the Fordino hardware support to the Arduino N1. To do this, we just have to add the Fordino JSON file to the Arduino IDE. Open the installed Arduino IDE and go to File, Preference, and then we just add the Fordino JSON URL to the Additional Manager field. This URL can be found in the Fordino data sheet. Once you do that, click on OK. Head over to Tools, then Board and then select the board manager. Once in the window, give it a moment to load all its boards. Then scroll down to the bottom and the Fordino board should be there. Simply click on it. Select the version of the Arduino IDE and click install. This now has added the Fordino as one of the boards into your Arduino IDE. Select the board as Fordino. We are going to change the COM port to the USB port the Fordino is connected to. It will say Fordino next to its COM port number. For me, it is COM port 24. If you are unsure which port that is, or wish to change the COM port number, you can do this in Device Manager. Select the ports and you should see the port number Fordino USB is designated to. Now, you are ready to program your Fordino using Arduino IDE or 4D Systems Workshop for IDE. Like I said, there are two IDEs available to program the Fordino. One is popular Arduino IDE. As mentioned earlier, Fordino is 100% compatible with Arduino IDE. This means, Fordino could be directly programmed using Arduino IDE as any Arduino modules. Fordino can be easily programmed with the newly introduced three additional environment of Workshop for IDE, which are Fordino Basic Graphics, Fordino Extended Graphics, and Fordino Genie Graphics. Fordino Basic Graphics, a simple yet effective programming environment which uses serial commands where pure Arduino code can be written. Combined with Graphics Primitive, utilizing Picasso Serial Library and hundreds of graphic commands available. Ideal for those used to developing with minimal GUI guide. Fordino Extended Graphics makes the creation of the graphical displays a more visual experience. This allows the user to see what their desired graphical layout will look like even before the project is compiled and downloaded. Fordino Genie Graphics is like no other a codeless programming environment that provides the user with a graphic visual experience enabling simple GUI applications to be written from the scratch in literally seconds. The possibilities with the Fordino are limitless. 